Hey y'all, currently China's WRCC World Robot Contest Championships is undergoing right now. And today, I'll be showing you guys an exclusive 16 point match, as well as showing how this robot works. So they just finished IQ Elementary School and V5 High School yesterday. And today, they're starting IQ Middle School and V5 Middle School. So make sure you guys watch out on our channel in the next few days, because we're going to be posting about this competition a lot. Now on the left here, we can see a typical 180 mech, but on the right, here's the real sauce. And as I start the video, we can see how effective this robot really is. So we actually covered this 180 mech in our video before. Um, it kind of has a separate claw. Anyways, um, the stacking on this robot is really good. You can see there. And it's also really efficient. But you can see how fast it starts stacking this cactus or why whatever you call it on the left here if you compare it we can see that it's almost as fast as the 1a robot but you know it can do a lot more than that so as you can see it stacks on there and it actually finishes that cactus even faster than the 180 bot right here you can see um and now what it does is it lifts it up and here's when it places it on the standoff goal. So this is what we call a 121 point Y or 121 point cactus. And the thing is, is that a normal 180 mech like this spot won't be able to do that. They'll only be able to do um, these kind of cactuses on the ground. So that's minus 30 points because every single stack here is 10 points because of the standoff goal. And the reason is because these 180 mechs they can't lift the beam high enough to get on the standoff goal. But this, instead of a normal 4-bar or something, it's actually a cascade lift, so it can lift much higher. And yeah, this goes on really smoothly. And if we go over here, we can actually see that um, it's stacking like normal 3-color or 2-color stacks is also really quick. And as the match comes to an end, they place those stacks in their corresponding uh, colors. So this is a 316-point match. Um, the highest point we saw from this competition is actually a 320 point match, which uh, we will be posting very soon. But here comes the actual point of this video, the most important part. So there's small details to the match that you might have missed. So the most obvious here is that um, this robot here drives really, really slowly. So this robot here, um, I'll call it the box. I mean, if you guys have any better name, please suggest it in the comments, uh, please. But you can also see that it kind of moves erratically. So as it lifts up, um, it kind of moves erratically. Uh, so there's two main reasons to this. You can see this one looks much shorter, much smaller, much lighter than uh, this robot over here. So not only does the acceleration and top speed of this robot decrease, but also that um, it can't be moving around the field really quickly. But another point, which was our second point, is that when you're handling such delicate stacks like this, when you're raising it so high up into the air and putting it on such a small point, you have to be very careful with um, bringing this stack up. On the contrary, over here, we can see this stack, it's really easily placed down because it actually doesn't need to be lifted that much higher. And also because this cascade lift goes so high, it shifts the center of the gravity so much that um, the robot kind of tips forward and backwards a bit. Now, our third point is if we go back to, oh, yeah, uh, go forward to some of the actual stacking of like normal pins, not like cactuses or Ys. Um, if you really analyze the video, we can actually see that the stacking on this robot here might actually uh, be faster or at least really close to the stacking of a 180 mech bot. Um, it's, this one is about 0 0.5 seconds and this one is about 0 0.4 seconds. So, um, yeah, it is much faster than I expected it to be, which kind of like gives it a really big advantage over uh, this 180 mech robot because not only is this a bit easier to drive, it can also uh, score much more points, as you can see. Like this stack, it's a really um, important factor in a lot of Chinese matches right now because they're kind of fighting to get over that 300 point threshold which I think is already really impressive because we're only two months this season and the max score is about 430 something points. And the fact that we're only 100 away is already like mind blowing. But anyway, um, 
Let's take a look at some of the close-up pictures to this match, as well as the robot. So, actually, um, if we look closely, it looks very complex. It looks like a robot has a lot of motor sharing. Uh, looks like this is something that's really hard to fix. But if we actually take a closer look, this robot is actually very simple. So, um, this is when it's scoring on the beam. So this is when um, the back part like kind kind of comes down. Uh, so you can see that kind of rotates around and it just drops in there. Um, so this structure, this entire structure, it is one thing and it rotates on this point here. So when it's stacking, it would kind of be like an upside down L like that. And the pins would just go up from here. And this claw just kind of swings backwards. And this is where it's stacking normally. It's kind of lifted up. And we can actually see that um, they missed the pin here in this match, but they still got the d double stack here, which is really rare. We haven't really seen any of these, even in China. And um, here's another picture. Um, this one, you can't really see much because this robot is blocking it. But again, this is the prime beam scoring position. So it's dropping those pins down. And by the way, if you want access to all of the matches that I covered in this video in full quality, make sure to join our Discord in the description. But now let's look at a video that this team posted. So this is the progression. You can see uh, this is kind of how their idea works. So um, at the start, um, they actually meant for this to be a motored power me mechanism. So you can see um, there's the motor. And it's actually really smart, really genius. Um, Later, they did change this to pneumatic powered, but you can see it stacks really easily and it holds the pins also really neatly. So this is a really genius mechanism. And as it progress, you can see um, them putting this mechanism onto the robot. So here is it just stacking. Uh, they haven't really designed or built the beam mechanism yet, but you can see it stacks really effortlessly like that. And that is a three stack. Um, you can imagine different colors, but I mean, it stacks really easily. And um, something else that I'm not sure if it'll be used in the match a lot, but you can actually see that they, they're able to take half of the stack or two thirds of the stack away. Um, I'm not sure if this could be used for anything, but it is still like a pretty cool mechanism. And you can also see uh, they place those two stacks perfectly into the corner. So that's really good for maxim maximizing your score. So this is when they actually started focusing on beam scoring. Um, pretty simple clamp. It relies on squeezing friction on that. Um, this did not make it to their final design, but it's still pretty cool to see how they prototyped. We're going to skip forward a bit to see their um, actual design. So this is a bit blurred, but you can see this is a 121 point uh, Y stack like that. Uh, they actually clamp it from the bottom on these pins, not regularly uh, like these on the beam. Uh, and you can see it lifts up. Uh, again, imagine these red pins were like separate colors. So yeah, and it just places that down really quickly. So now, I mean, I listed everything I could deduce from this match over here. Um, do you guys think this could be the end of the 180 mech time? Could it be the start of a new meta perhaps for the new box bot and before you leave i just wanted to say that we spend a lot of time making these videos so subscribing or commenting would be an awesome way to show your support and we also launched our new membership program so if you guys feel that we helped your team a lot in rapid relay or maybe even this season joining us would mean a lot and it would also help us continue to make these types of videos and again thank you to all of you guys and see you guys tomorrow, maybe?